2015, lost in the first preliminary round to Michael Conlin there, the eventual champion. But he too preparing for his second bout of Birmingham 2022 after a unanimous points decision win. This is win a round of 16 men's light welterweight contest. Pakistan's reigning champion three, three in the round rounds. of 32. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, representing Scotland, Reese Lynch. And his opponent in the blue corner, representing India, Shiva Thapa. Welcome to the ring, guys. Please head up, come hold, and blow down. What a contest we have in prospect here because it pits boxers who have both earned world championship bronze medals against one another. The man wearing red who's just taken a stiff right hand is Reese Lynch, the reigning world championship bronze medalist. After earning that championship hardware in Belgrade, Serbia at the back end of 2021, his opponent, Shiva Tapa, earned his world championship bronze in 2015. What a southpaw left for Reese Lynch. And you can see the difference in stature and physicality between the two. Remember, Shiva Tapa's World Championship bronze coming down as he lands another right hand tapper, but his World Championship success coming at 56. And both of these boxers really having success with their backhands in the first minute of this opening round. The quality of these two, this is probably worthy of a medal, Ronald. They're world class boxers. It's going to test the ability of both boxers here. But Reese has that has the physical advantage. He, he's the taller man, he's the south boy. He's got what he's got to do is make Tapper come to him and then just catch him with the counter punch um, as Tapper launches the attack. Remember Tapper's quick with the feet and he's very good with his right hand, but there's an awful long distance for that right hand to, to hit Reese Lynch. And so Lynch has got to trigger his opponent off, wait for the attack, and then he's got to get his timing right and catch Tapper as he's coming forward. He must trigger the attack, but this Indian boxer is quality. Reese Lynch looking to start quickly on the resumption. Shiva Tapa just short of the distance with a jab, but he was altogether close with that right hand to the body that followed his subsequent jab. There's that rapier like right hand once again from the Indian boxer. Reese Lynch presenting a different look now. That's mirrored by Shiva Tapa. Sneaky right hand dug into the belt line by Tapa. Reese Lynch trying to bamboozle his opponent near his right hand success once again. It was a glancing blow, but I think it landed with enough force from Tapa to be a scoring shot. Yeah, the timing and the accuracy from Tapa is very good indeed. That's why he's won a, a medal at the World Championships, no, no doubt. And like I said, they're both quality, these guys, but, but Lynch has got to be a little bit quicker with his reactions as the opponent's competing. That's good work there from Tapa. Well, it was a right-hand success upstairs, then a right-hand dug underneath. The feet may have become tangled, but I think it was a punch that sent Reese Lynch to the canvas there. No knockdown issued. No count issued by the referee. Ruled it a slip rather than a knockdown. But Shiva Tapa has found his timing very effectively indeed in this opening round, particularly with that backhand that is coming in at a rapid speed. There he was swinging once again after the left jab. Nice movement in the pocket from Lynch to cause it to go over his head. Closing seconds of what has been a very good opening round of boxing. Shiva Tapa looking to lure his man in and right on the bell drives in a straight right hand to the body of his opponent. I think Shiva Tapa has boxed very effectively there against the reigning world championship bronze medalist. Very good. So important that Tapper got his timing right here. Good work from Lynch there as he moves forward. But Tapper's right hand, especially the timing, very quick feet moving forward and caught Lynch on several occasions. And it's a question of which boxer can make his opponent come over the front foot. Some lovely work there from Tapper. So Lynch has just got to be a little bit quicker here with his reactions. Craig McAvoy with the instructions. Let's look at the scores. And it's a clean sweep of the cards for Shiva Tapper. 10 9 in his favour for all five scoring judges.
So into the second round then, Reese Lynch immediately out to the centre ring, looking to get over that front foot and try and establish his long right jab. There's a nice start, poor left by the man in red. He's counted by a right hand to the body from Tapper. And this one, a game of physical chess of the highest order. Terrific right hand from Reese Lynch, catching Tapper on the retreat, and he may have been stunned by that shot. Yeah, much better work from Lynch. That's better with his jab, working well with his jab, and then working with the left hand also. But by working the jab, it gets a reaction from Tapper, and as Tapper comes over his front foot, then Lynch quicker with the reactions like we spoke about, and he's starting to catch him now with some good shots. Very good response from Reese Lynch after conceding the opening round unanimously. Shiva Tapper will be aware of the good first minute of the round that Lynch has enjoyed and will be in search of his get back. But again, look at the effectiveness of the right hand. It's just keeping Tapper at bay and is an altogether different complexion to this second round because Reese Lynch is busier with that lead southpaw right. For just stealing a glance to his corner and nodding in their direction as if okay I've heeded the instructions I'm just trying to implement it but that trip hammer of a right hand is being caught by the gloves but it's keeping Shiva Tapper practically on the other side of the ring it's keeping him off balance and also by throwing that jab and being more active with it then Tapper's got to react he's got to do something and you'll bring him over your front foot that's why the lead hand is so important here for Lynch better start here to the round for Lynch Tapper scored with a right hand a few moments ago and how about that for right hand success to the body then upstairs and then a left hook and Shiva Tapper really planting his feet into the canvas and bombing away with that backhand terrific response from him after Reese Lynch enjoyed a fantastic first half of this second round power punch in there from Tapper accuracy very good indeed but he needed it because this round was slipping away but that might just bring him back into it now better work from Tapper but again Lynch must keep going with this jab jab and straight left hand Tapper dropping his hands down to his belt line now tempting Lynch to come forward Tapper now fainting and again the attack's been thought out as each boxer trying to draw a lead that they can counter particularly Tapper who wants to make Lynch miss and then spring into distance with quick feet Nice right jab once again from Lynch, but then look at the swarming attack launched by Tapper. Closing seconds of this second round. Lynch over the front foot, looking for the right jab, but was off the mark on that occasion. A headlock ensues, Tapper's head comes up into the chin of Lynch. What a second round. Reese Lynch responded magnificently. Let's listen in to Big Craig McAvoy and Mike Keane. Big deep breath. Big deep breath. Big deep breath. Pace is key. Right. Well, it was a better start to the round for Lynch. Really got with it. Very active with his lead hand. And that brought Tapper over that front foot. And Lynch caught him with some good shots. But as the round went on, then Tapper started to concentrate more and he was accurate with the power shots, really went for it and caught Lynch with a couple of good punches. Close, close round, Ronald. Most certainly was. Remember, this man took the first round unanimously. What say the judges after round two? And it's a 4 1 split in favour of Reese Lynch. So going into the third and final round, it is all square, 19 points apiece. For four of the five scoring judges, this one has come down to the final three minutes. Well, what a final round we have in prospect here. Shiva Tapper, the 2015 World Championship bronze medalist, boxed beautifully in the first round to take it unanimously. Reese Lynch responded magnificently in the second round to take it 4-1. And so we have four scorecards at a dead level at 19 points apiece as the referee just speaks to Reese Lynch about tripping his opponent up. So it's all come down to this. Lynch has got to keep these attacks going, Ronald. Don't give Tapper the time and the room on the outside to plan the next attack. Got to keep just walking him down, using that jab, being, doing it sensibly with straight punches, and then watch out for the for the attacks that come, that, 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 that he springs the fast Dart in attacks he springs. Don't give him the time to think about it though. Triggering the right hand lead attack once again is Shiva Tapper. Reese Lynch looking for the left uppercut. 
may have been caught by a glove and forearm of Tapper. Plenty of interventions from the referee as the clock continues to tick. Both boxers keen to re-enter the fray. Rhys Lynch short of the mark, countered by Tapper, but then Rhys Lynch came back with a shot of his own. Becoming increasingly tighter here now, as evidenced by that tumble to the canvas. Both boxers so keen to get their offensive success away that perhaps they're overcommitting and it's resulting in these untidy tangles. Who can produce some quality? Just beyond the midpoint, there's a beautiful left cross, but a counter right cross from Tapper. What an exchange. Good shot from Lynch, and then the reply from Tapper. Super right hand from him. Again, lead and is key. Pace of the contest is key. Straight shots from Lynch, that's what's, that's what's needed. That's better. Good right hand dug into the body. And again, with so many interventions from the referee, both boxers will want to avoid picking up a warning. Good left jab and then right uppercut sunk in from Tapper. Yeah. It's another crowding maul on the inside. And just signs that Tapper just feeling the pace a little bit. He's holding now on the outside. And just, again, just wants a few seconds to recover. And Lynch is boxing well. That's what he's got to do, is keep the attacks going. Beautiful double jab from Lynch on the front foot, followed by a jab success off the back foot. Then he a little bit of showboating, looking for the shot after Tapper was off the mark. Reese Lynch dominating the ring space now. Tapper trying to lure him in. Left, right success out of the south poor stance for Reese Lynch. The referee got his feet tangled with those of the Scottish boxer. Closing seconds of this third and final cup round. Shiva Tapper keen to initiate a clinch. And 10 second clapper has sounded. Swing and a miss from Tapper. And he may just have run out of gas in the closing stages of this contest while Lynch is continuing to dig away. And I think Lynch's stronger conclusion to the round may well be enough to tilt it in his favour. Both boxers think they have done enough. But it was Reese Lynch who enjoyed some success in the final 40 seconds or so of that final round. There were lots of tangles prior to that. And that burst of quality may well prove decisive in a contest that was tied up 19 points apiece for four of the five scoring judges. What about? Looking at the, the body language of both corners at the end there, I think it's the Scottish corner that think they've done enough, and I tend to agree with him. I thought that um, Lynch here worked a little bit harder in this round. Tapper occasionally going on that back foot, trying to get a few more seconds rest here and there, holding occasionally also. Lynch, for me, just worked that little bit harder. There's nothing in the round, but if I had to go either way, I'd go Lynch. And if he's won the round, then he should have Ladies won the contest. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by a split decision. In the red corner. And there's confirmation. Reese Lynch absolutely ecstatic at having been declared a split decision victor over Shiva Tapper. This battle of world championship bronze medalist has gone the way of the man who took World Championship bronze in 2021. Wonderful to see that respect. Two quality operators, no seeding in this tournament, remember. And so it's Reese Lynch who goes through to the quarterfinals after prevailing in a contest that was worthy of the medal stages. It doesn't get any easier for the boxers because up next is the reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalist Jonas Jonas and Reese Lynch will face off at the quarter-final stage, so the loser going home without a medal, as has Shiva Tapa here, but he deserves immense credit for the part that he played in a contest that was of the highest quality. Certainly was. Rhys Lynch, fair play to him. He needed that last round, and he worked that little bit harder, wanted it a little bit more. Got his tactics spot on. Works well with his jab and that straight left hand and then adjusted them feet and brought his opponent onto a couple of good shots. But Tapper himself, a quality kid, stays on the outside, springs the attack and caught Lynch with a couple of great right hands. So there was nip and tuck, there was nothing in the contest at all. But if it was on that last round as the judges thought it was, then you have to say that Lynch worked a little bit harder and he's won the contest and he goes through. Well done, Reese Lynch.